Hello everyone. So now in the second app, what we're going to be building is an app that can detect five different types of flowers. So we're going to be customizing this neural network in TensorFlow. And I'll teach you guys how to use this online um, website created by Google called Colab, where you can build and um, use Python and create these neural networks right from your web, web browser. So instead of having to download all of the Python dependencies and making sure Python's installed on your system, you can just go onto this website and just start building right away. So that's exactly what we'll do. And I'll start by um, copying this folder since it is going to be the same sort of functionality. The only difference is we're going, we're going to be customizing this neural network. So let's get right into it. Let's get our hands dirty and I'll see you guys in the next lecture. All right, so since most of the functionality is the exact same, except the neural network, we can just copy and paste our first app and we'll just paste it here. And we'll change the name to something that uh, matches more to the data set that we're using. So um, just wait for this to be done. And once it's done, let's rename it and I'll rename it to flower detector. Okay, and in here, let's open a, a Visual Studio Code window, and let's open our project. So I'm just going to uh, fix the window here, and I'll open the folder. So I'm going to go to the directory, and you you find your project wherever you saved it, and I saved mine here. So once it's opened. Um, we should, everything should work. I'm just going to run pubspec, uh, flutter pub get, and I'll get all the dependencies just in case flutter hasn't loaded it in. Um, but from here we can check our lib and, um, we will be using these same, same functions. The only thing we'll change in here is our UI and we'll make it more fitting for this app and make it look clean. Um, for our splash screen, we're just going to change the asset and we're going to import the asset and change the text and just some simple tweaking. And what this app is going to focus on is building the neural network in TensorFlow and exporting that neural network from your notebook into your Flutter project. So you can really just, by the end of this, you'll be able to create any neural network in TensorFlow and then learn. you'll know how to export it to a Flutter app. So, yeah, so to start off, let's just uh, change this splash screen to flower recognizer and we'll change the color to colors dot white. Now the image asset is linked in this lecture. Um, just make sure you drag and drop it into your assets folder but uh, here, it's this one so I'm just going to drag and drop and this is the image asset that we'll be using in this project and it's called flower.png next thing we want to set is the background color and instead of it being a solid background color um, we're going to set it as a gradient background and splash screen has this useful parameter called gradient background where you can uh, pass in a linear gradient widget and in here um, You can pass in a oh You can do a begin parameter and set that to alignment dot top center Then you can have an end parameter and set that to alignment dot bottom center Next, we'll set the stops variable, which indicates when the colors will change and stop. I'm going to set it to 0 0.004 and 1. Next, it's the colors, and this takes a list of colors. And the first color I'm going to set is a hex number of 0xffa8e063. And the next color is color 0xff56. A, B, 2, F, and that should be it for the splash screen, except the loader color. Let's change that to uh, colors.white, <coughs> and 
And that should be it for the splash screen. Next thing is the main. We'll just change this to flower recognizer. And finally, let's go to our home.dart file and we're going to remove everything inside of the scaffold since we'll be changing up the UI. And that should be good. All right, so we're ready to go and we're ready to finish this home.dart file. So that's exactly what we're gonna do in the next video. We're going to do everything for the UI. So I'll see you guys in the next lecture. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comments and I'd be more than happy to help you. So see you in the next lecture.